By the end of this video, you will be able to add realistic rain to the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to add rain to your Roblox game is to go to roblox.com, sign into your account. Once you're signed into your account, we're gonna be looking for a rain plugin. And to find it, we're gonna go ahead and click on create. And then once you're in creations, you're gonna to wanna to click on marketplace. In marketplace, you can then browse. So I'm gonna actually click on plugins and I'm gonna browse the plugins. We're just gonna look for rain plugin. So you're gonna find this free rain plugin by Bill Thomas. And I'm gonna click on that. And this is the plugin we're gonna use. So I'll put a link to this in the description below so you have the link to this plugin. And once you're on this page, you're gonna click on get plugin. So now it's gonna be in my inventory. I'm gonna go switch over to studio. So I'm in Roblox studio now working on a game. And I'm gonna to go to my plugins and I'm gonna be looking for that rain plugin. Okay, so now that I'm in Roblox Studio, I went ahead and re restarted Roblox Studio, but I still can't find my plugin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the toolbox and I'm gonna do the rain. I looked for uh, plugins in the marketplace. So again, plugins, and then I'm gonna search for rain. And that's the first one. I'm gonna click on this. And I'm gonna click on install and hopefully that will install. It's perfect, okay. So now I've got it installed in Roblox Studio. So those are two ways that you can access this plugin. So now you can see it added it to the top right-hand side of the screen. So I've got editor here. And so you're going to click on editor. And then now this is going to be the rain editor. So let's go ahead and make this a little larger so that you can see the different options here. You can see how each one of these options changes the rain in the game. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on enabled. So as soon as you click on enabled, it's going to ask you if you would like this plugin to manage some of the scripts in your game, you're going to want to click allow. And once you click on allow, then you can click on preview. And then now that I have it enabled and preview, now I can see the rain in the game. Uh, it's actually, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but let's say you wanted uh, either a heavier rain or a lighter rain. Uh, you can change the color of the rain and then you can enter what color you would like. Uh, for some reason, it's not pulling up the color scheme. But uh, if you know the color, the three numbers for the color you want, you can put that there. You can actually change the direction as well. Uh, it's funny, actually, it has negative one. I wonder if I put zero, one, zero. That will be rain going up. So if you have a negative number, yeah, okay, it's interesting. So it won't work if it goes the other direction. So that's one thing you must. So you need to keep that negative one in there to make sure that the rain is going down. Um, so I'll put that the way the way it was. So back to there. Okay, very, perfect. So now I've got the rain falling again. You have an intensity ratio. So you can make this less intense or more intense. You can just drag each one of these bars and it saves the setting. Light emission. Uh, so that will be how the light is reflected through the rain and then light influence, you have your speed, and then volume. So let's go ahead and play the game and see what this rain looks like. Nice, overall this rain is pretty nice. And you'll notice that the rain by default will not go through any of the uh, roofs that you have in your game. So you can see that it's falling on the outside but not the inside. You might get a little, it depends on where the camera angle is set on your avatar. You might get a little bit of rain there, but if I zoom in a bit, you're gonna notice the rain goes away. But if I go like this, the rain kind of comes back. So just something to keep in mind. So you now know how to add rain to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you've made it this far into the video, you most likely are also interested in how to add fog to the games that you're creating. I made a video that shows you exactly how to do this step-by-step. Step. I'll put a link to it here.